I'm James Scott with him outdoors. Got my friend Sammy Green with us down here in Fort Morgan. Tell us how we're trying to catch these bull reds. We've got some bull reds here. We're uh, out here. We're surf fishing. We're uh, set up. We've got some uh, four to five ounce weight with some cut bait, uh, catching as far out as we can, and we're trying to hook up to uh, big bull reds, uh, red or black. Uh, even enjoy catching the sharks and bringing those. Yes. And I think we found we catch more shark in the daytime than we do the nighttime, it seems like. It seems right. like that. But you know what? We're just out here having a good time. You can probably see it's kind of sprinkling on us. We die hard. We're going to stay here until we, until we either catch enough fish or we get tired of fishing in the rain. That's true. Right? we I got mean, 12 men out here that just enjoy <laughs> fellowship with one another. That's right. And listen, we just, we having a great time. So hopefully y'all, we're going to show you some big bull reds. Stay tuned. As we sit here, we just wait for the fish to come in and bite. You know, that's a, a lot of times we do in our lives. Sometimes we have to wait on the Lord to show us what He wants us to do or where He wants us to go, who He wants us to speak to. But while you're waiting, just listen. The other thing you can do while you wait is you can serve. You can serve the Almighty God. Wait until you see what we caught on video down at Fort Morgan, Alabama. We were down there trying to catch some bull reds, and while a couple of our other guys had made it just before us, they got to video a nearly 12-foot alligator that come swimming up there on the shore. As you can see this thing, it's massive, it's incredible. But, you know, it was fun to see that and to record it, but the bull reds did not cooperate with us on this trip at all. I think we caught one small shark. We caught numerous sail cats. So what we have done for this week's video is we have kind of gone backwards. I had some footage of some other really good bull reds uh, that we had caught uh, and some black drum. So I just hope you, you enjoy watching some of these fish. But, you know, there's a Bible verse in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. It says, The heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his, his steps. You know, our plan was to go down there and catch a bunch of fish. But, you know, it just didn't work that way on this particular trip. But one thing that we do that is so much different than other guys or maybe some other guys anyways, is we always have Bible time. We always have some time of praying and lifting up guys. And fellas, I want you to know, I believe that's something that we have missed, and I believe it's of great importance for us to do. You know, back in the day, yeah, I was probably just like anybody else going out, carrying on, you know, telling dirty jokes and, and drinking the beers and smoking the cigars and all the other uh, mess that went around with some of that stuff. But I have learned a new way. And I hope and pray that as you grow in your faith or as you come into faith, you will realize that there is better ways. There are better ways. And it's important to try to find ways to honor and glorify Jesus Christ in everything we do. And men, that includes going to fishing camp or going to deer camp or elk camp or whatever camp you might be wanting to go to. It's not a, hey, finally I get to be away from my wife because it's not that way at all. When you are a happily married man who loves the Lord Jesus Christ, that time away, yes, it's kind of nice because you look forward to coming back together with your wife, but also you miss them. And uh, so I just want to encourage you with that. Um, you know, take a, a, a gander at these these segments. I think there's uh, there's quite a few fish that we were able to catch over the over the last couple of years. But man, you've got to check out this nearly twelve foot alligator down at Fort Morgan, Alabama. There's some dolphins. They say where the dolphins are is where the fish are, so we are here. Looks like it might be another one of those sail cats. I think that's what it is. y'all what one of these things look like. They got a cool. Look at that thing. They ain't no good to eat. They're kind of fun to catch. Baby shark. 
You know, there's different ways to fish. You know, we're sitting on the bank, that guy's out there in a boat. It's kind of like sharing the gospel. The gospel never changes, but the ways we try to share with people, the places we try to go, that has to change. You know, maybe 50 years ago, you put up a tent, ring a bell, and they'd all come running. For a revival, I promise you, it don't work that way today where we live. We gotta go build relationships, we gotta go show people how much we love them, how much we care for them, and hopefully be able to share Jesus Christ with them because they do and put their faith in us. All right, Sammy's got one on out here. Just and Justin, you have to come get his pliers. Justin. Good job, Sammy. Y'all see this little bird in front of me? Just picture that's you. And you're walking away from Jesus. Jesus is just right behind you. And he's got the best thing in the world to give to you. But you will not stop and turn around and ask him to come into your life. You just continue to walk away. I'm here to tell you, it's much better when you turn around and you invite Christ into your life and you allow Him to change your life and to give you a brand new life in Him. Pretty cool analogy, I thought. For questions, comments, and or to book James at With Him Outdoors, you can send an email to withhimoutdoors at gmail.com. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and like and share these videos with as many people as you can. Uh -huh.